Sound. And more excitement in Norfolk, where it was a historic day at Naval Station Norfolk as the USS Enterprise pulled away from the pier for the very last time. The Big E's final deployment brought out hundreds of people, including one of the very first crew members ever on board. Always oh, been on it when it's left, so, you know, either up on the flight deck or down below deck somewhere, but different feeling watching it go out this time. This is the Enterprise's 22nd deployment. When the ship returns, she will be almost 51 years old. Only 10 on your sides, Art Khan is on the Enterprise for the first leg of her final voyage. Although the deployment is scheduled for seven months, the officers and crew are already getting down to business on the world's first nuclear aircraft carrier. Flight operations aboard the USS Enterprise got underway even before the ship pulled away from the pier. The choppers are the forward eyes of the ship, looking for both security threats and navigational hazards. If they see something that they want us to investigate, we can investigate it. Uh, if they think something suspicious, they'll let us know. We're also out here with the Coast Guard. Right center rudder, steady on course at 076. On the bridge, the crew is focused on maneuvering the huge ship through the first leg of what is already an historic deployment. We're carrying the legacy of 200,000 sailors, men and women of uh, USS Enterprise history uh, that have gone before us. Getting out of the channel and into open water safely is probably the main objective of this first day. And it could also be the best opportunity for the crew of the Enterprise to really take in the historical significance of this day. It does make you feel really proud to be a part of something like this. And for us to go over there, just speed on over and start work, going straight to work is it's, it's pretty unbelievable that this ship can do these feats. There are few feats more impressive than watching the arrival of the carrier's air wing. Three squadrons of FA-18s are first on the schedule, a schedule that from this day forward will really take off going to be flying uh, day and night so uh, the sailors understand that uh, it's game day right out of the gate. Aboard the USS Enterprise, Art Khan, 10 on your side. Some incredible video there. The rest of the air wing is scheduled to join the ship tomorrow. Go to wavy.com for our special coverage page on the Enterprise.